This video sponsored by Wondershare. Hey welcome, to another amazing tutorial. So today, I am going to show you how to design and prototype your own social media app, using Wondershare Market. Wondershare Market is an easy prototyping and collaboration platform. You can create interactive and animated prototypes. It also got libraries with full of assets and templates. It also allows you to collaborate with your teammates in real time. By the way, they are also holding a design contest recently. Anyone interested can participate to win an iPhone 12. You can check out more info about this contest. I'll provide link in description. So let's get started. This is the workspace of Mocket. On the left side, we have enterprise space, personal space, and resources. You can find prototype templates by clicking resources. Let's get back to the workspace and create a new project. Name the project and select your preferred artboard. And hit create. On the right side we got a wide range of tools, like material design, iOS design and many more, which will help you to create your design. Let's begin designing our social media app. Firstly we going to delete all the layers. And let's rename the screen name. Now, drag this image widget, from the built-in resources panel, and resize it. Click here to upload the image. I'll choose one from my assets folder and hit OK. Now, to resize it, double click and hold its corner and drag it until you find the perfect part. This looks good to me. Again, drag this image widget here. Also, let's adjust its size and align it to center and let's upload our icon. Cool. Let's design the second screen. You can add a new screen, by clicking the plus icon in the top left corner. Delete these layers, as we don't need them. Let's quickly add image widget. And resize it. Now, drag and drop this rectangle widget and resize it. Let's make its corner rounded, simply go to the style section, and set its corner radius to 20. Uncheck this stroke. Also lock the rectangle from the layers panel. Let's add the guides, so to keep the consistency of the layout. Let's add the image for the background. Hold its corner to resize it. Also drag it until you find the perfect part. Cool. Now, drag this text component. Edit it, and choose its font from the style menu. You can also press T, on your keyboard to create the text box. Once you have finished with aligning this text, select both text layer, and press Ctrl plus G, to group them. Let's create a button, you can also use the built-in widget, but let's create a custom button, let's drag this rectangle widget, and resize it. Set its corner radius to 10. Also unselect the stroke, and change the color of the rectangle. Let's add text widget over this rectangle. Also rename it to login. 
and choose its font from the style menu. Also, change its color to white. And align it to center. Now, while pressing Alt plus left click, drag it to duplicate this button. Now, enable the stroke. And set the color to white. Also rename its text to sign up. And align it to center. Cool. Let's add more text. Now, drag and drop this rectangle widget. And resize it. Increase its corner radius to 10. Unselect the stroke and enable the shadow. Also set its values. Let's decrease its opacity a bit. Now, while pressing Alt plus left click, drag it to duplicate this rectangle. Cool. Let's drag image widget over this rectangle. Also resize it. And place it here. Duplicate this image widget, and place it here. And add image. This looks good to me. Also, let's align them properly. Cool. Now, duplicate this screen so that we don't have to design the next screen from the scratch. Let's delete these text. Let's upload and replace image with new one. Also adjust its size, and align it to center. Cool. Unlock this rectangle. Also drag this button and place it here. Drag text widget and type your text. So, to create the text input, we go in to use the built-in widget. Just drag it, and it's done, but, let's make its design more interesting. Here, I am going to unselect its stroke. Now, drag a rectangle, to create a container for an icon in text input. Adjust its size. Set its roundness to 10. Now, I'll drag this rectangle behind the text input from the layers panel. Adjust the text input, so it fits in the container. Adjust its size, and align it properly. Add an image. Resize it. And place it in the container. Cool. Now, select these, and while pressing Alt plus left click, drag it to duplicate this, so that we don't have to create same thing. Simply rename them. Also, let's rename the labels in the text input. Simply double click, and type your text. Cool. Here is a quick tip, to check the spacing between elements, select the element, and press and hold the ALT key, so that you can adjust their spacing more easily. Select these, and adjust it a bit. Let's add more text. Cool. Now, click on this image widget, and upload the images. Also, lower the opacity to 50%. Cool. Similarly, using same steps, let's insert icon in this image widget. And you're done with designing your login page. Now, click on this layer, and duplicate it. Let's rename it. So, using same steps, I am going to design the sign up screen. Mocket has many more inbuilt tools which will help you easily create your design. Using this platform, 
You can also able to create your prototype which will be interactable and responsive. So now, using same steps let's create more design. Here, I am going to design timeline and profile screen, for our social media app. Mock it has so many tools which will help you to create your professional design in just few clicks. So, once we completed with designing part, let's create prototype, and that going to be very easy. Let me show how. Let's add the animation on our icon. Select the icon, and go to animation in style menu. You can find many types of animations, in this panel. Let's select the zoom in animation. Set its duration to 1000. Now, select the screen and go to event. Then click add event. By default, the event is set to tap, set the action to go to screen, set the screen to get started, state should be first state, transition to our slide. Set the duration to 500, and delay to 100. This way we have created prototype for our first screen. There is also an another way, to create linking between screens and objects. Simply click on any object, and drag this circular handle, to the respective screen where you want to navigate it. Also make sure, to use same transition and other properties, as we used before. Cool. Similarly, let's create linking with other screens too. And it's done. Let's preview this. Cool. Let's see more features of Mockit. Handoff function allows designers to share it to development team, where they can see each assets in an organized way. The comment function allows members to comment on items. You can also export the screens as HTML5, Android application, and even as PNG file. You can also select the image size. Once the project is completed, you can copy the link and share it on social media. Also you can decide which screen to be share. You can also showcase your design in your website, using the iframe. So, this way you can easily prototype and share your design using Mockit. If this tutorial helped you, press the like button, and subscribe for more new contents every week. See you in next tutorial, stay tuned.